Because I'll go back for 10 mil. <laughs> I'll sit on a little bit for 10 mil. <laughs> you fucking with a gangster. You fuck with me. I want my money. I'm sorry. I need my money. I was being quiet. I thought I was going to get some money. That's why I was being quiet. I wasn't saying shit. I was just hoping I, I would wait. I would wait. Nigga won't, won't pay me nothing. Welcome back to the channel once again, fam. So, as I'm sure most of y'all have seen by now via Vlad TV and his interview with Boosie, Boosie shared that he was upset about a previous interview Young Blue did, where he said that he technically wasn't signed to Boosie. Nino Brown reacted to the drama saying, I hope they work it out. Hate to see brothers go at it. Bread comes before beef when you make a sandwich unless you make it a really strange sandwich. But if some way you did manage to miss it, we've got the videos and clips for you to check out right here. We ain't paying shit. Fuck them. That's how they is. Man, this shit crazy, man. Blue know I got fucked though. He know. Everybody, everybody, everybody know. <laughs> everybody know. Everybody part of the conspiracy. Yeah, I was shot up. I'm going to tell a judge, too. I can't wait. I'm going to tell a judge, judge, I was shot up. They did it while I was shot up. I was shot up in the bed. I couldn't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Then I, then look, then look. Then I, then when, when I first heard about it, I reached out to guys. Man, let's get this deal done. What's up with you, old uh, woo-woo? That nigga ignored me for four months. Al came out. And I ain't see Boosie on the back. Oh, it's smoke now. So you done took my heart. You done took my fucking gold in the mine. My gold mine. You done fuck with the gold mine. If you done fuck with anybody else, I probably wouldn't even say shit. <laughs> if you done fuck with anybody else, I probably wouldn't have said shit. But you won't fuck with the gold mine. You, you won't fuck with the gold mine. This nigga make hits. You won't fuck with the gold mine. Okay. Okay, 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 Empire, you won't fuck with me. Okay, 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 I'm finna entertain you this whole week. Every time I get on live, I'm entertain you. Yeah. Okay. If you're a Boosie fan, do not support nobody. I ain't just say nobody. If it say Empire Records on the back, don't support them. <laughs> I'm finna take you to social media trial. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what social media gonna say. Let me show my signature again. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me. That's not mine. Look at it. Don't even, I don't even write. Look, that shit don't even look like it got boots on. Look at it. Then they put two R's. They were scared. Did you? It's not mine. This one keeps ice for all. Do not support them. They forged my signature. Took all the money from from Steel Mine. What's the name of the song? Is it Steel Mine or Wheel Mine? You're Steel Mine? Okay. Forgery! Forge! Forgery! And I still was a real nigga. I still ain't stopped that nigga motion. Still ain't stopped no, no album or nothing. No, but any other nigga would have did. Any other nigga would have shit, boy. I still ain't stopping nigga motion. Get your money, man. Get your money. Cause God, God ain't gonna let him fuck on me. Mm mm. Ten million dollars. I'm gonna holler forever. <laughs> you know how my money that is? Ten million fucking dollars. That's going in the trust of my churn. You done fuck with my churn money. It's up. It's up. You gonna lose one way or the other. Find my signature. May eight something million dollars, and I'm the CEO. Mm. Nigga, forward my signature while I'm shot. Same mama, mama, same daddy. And yeah, there you go. So surely you're all caught up now. But here's where, once again, my uh, confusion kind of lies. It's all in Blue's explanation of not being signed but being signed what does that actually mean now i've seen plenty of people go back and forth and back and forth 
supporting Boosie, supporting Blue. I get it. You know, you're going to be fans one way or the other. Okay, cool. But I still don't understand what that particular part is actually supposed to mean. Like, you're signed or you're not. Like, there is no in-between, really. I get that you could just say, like, hey, we're collaborators. But I don't think that that would, you know, involve a contract. I mean, hey, maybe it does in some cases if it's big enough, but you get where I'm going with it. That hesitance in how he was speaking, like, that just kind of raises a little bit of a red flag for me. But again, I'm not going to say one side is fully right or one side is fully wrong. going to try to straddle that line. Pay me my money, man. Y'all know what happened, bro. You wait until I got, got shot, bro. Guys, and you stop answering my text, bro. For five months, bro. And I heard he talking to y'all. You refuse to hit back, bro. Pay me my money. I gotta go to Tulsa Friday, Tulsa, Oklahoma Friday. Pay me my money, man. If you if you fuck with Boosie, do not support nobody got empire on the back of their city. Please. If, if you're a Boosie fan, don't support nobody. Fuck with empire. Straight up. Pay me my money, man. Fucking forge my signature, dog. You was talking to me about blues, nigga. Come on, man. Pay me my money, dog. If this was street shit, y'all wouldn't play with me like this, bro. Pay me my money, bro. Y'all forged my fucking signature, bro. Pay me my money, bro. And wait until I was shot. Pay me my money, man. I'm on the eight round. Pay me my money, man. God damn. Nigga, if they did it to me, they gonna do it to y'all, the ones who signed them, pop. Y'all gonna get it. Pay me my money, man. I've been being quiet, bro. Still don't want to pay me my shit, man. Damn, bro. I hope nobody don't support y'all, mother. Pay me my money, bro. What y'all on? What's your face? Yeah. I called guys. It was Benson, nigga. You paying me for three, me and Mo three, nigga. Soon as I ask you about blue, you go duck. I heard you trying to fuck with my artists. You go duck. Then when I hit you and say I'm suing your ass, you say, man, what? I ain't no, nigga. You know what's happening, man. Come on, man. You ignored me for five months, bro. Used to used to used to DM me, used to text me right back. Used to text me right back, man. Come on, man. Used to text me right back, man. I got drop one, right? This time, don't be my boy. That's my fault, right? Don't chill out. Pay me my money, man. This fact, man. This May 30th. Look, this May 30th. This May March 30th right here. With this day I'm coming from blue. I gotta get paid. I'm CEO. So we need to have a sit down about the numbers ASAP. Look. 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 Okay, then I text him again. He ain't asked him. I text him again July. July 23rd, after March 30th, I text, I text you March 30th about a sit down about this album, guys, and you ignore me. Now you and all parties involved will receive paperwork if not Monday, first thing Tuesday. It's just business, nigga. Okay, now you want to hit back. Now you want to hit back. Now you want to hit back. Guess what he's saying when he hit back? What up, bro? I never saw any text. <laughs> Look what this nigga say. What, what album are you talking about? I never saw any text. You ain't see a text in five. How the fuck you don't see my text, nigga? Huh? How the fuck you don't see my text? We always text. How the fuck 
you don't see my text, nigga. You waited four months, nigga. You saw it when I said paperwork coming. So, Boosie. <laughs> Boosie, Boosie, Boosie. Boy, boy. Boosie, who was arrested in San Diego last month for allegedly being a felon in possession of a gun. Boosie was initially charged by state prosecutors, keep that part in mind, following his May 6 arrest during a traffic stop in the Cholas View neighborhood. He was also in San Diego to film a music video and perform later that night at a gas lamp quarter nightclub. Hmm. According to one of his attorneys, Megan Blanco, just felt right to say it that way, Boosie was prepared to plead guilty in the state's case and was expected to be sentenced to probation. Here's what matters. The state's case was dismissed and a following court appearance last week, well, he was arrested on newly filed federal charges. Big difference between state and fed. If you don't know, now you know, to quote it officially, so to speak. But on Tuesday, U.S. Magistrate Judge Allison Goddard granted Boosie bail. He will have to follow several conditions, as you would expect including no travel outside of the United States. Assistant U.S. Attorney Sandor Callahan, Sandor, argued in court that Boosie presented a danger to the community and was a flight risk, while Blanco argued her client was complying with all state court conditions and made all court appearances while out of custody, which is true. Callahan said that on May 6th, Boosie was seen in an Instagram Live video with a gun tucked into his waistband. Let me say that one more time. Callahan said that on May 6th, Boosie was seen in an Instagram live video with a gun tucked into his waistband. And that was the, the, the cause of all this. Careful what you post, people. Careful what you post. So police used a helicopter to spot the SUV that Boosie was riding in and stopped it. The prosecutor said officers found two guns in the SUV, one in a security guard's bag and one on the seat between Boosie and the guard. One of those guns matched the one seen in the Instagram video, he alleges. He also claimed an officer overheard Boosie threatening the security guard for not taking the blame for the gun. Callahan alleged Boosie told the guard you're gonna be in a body bag. Which, I mean, I ain't saying he said it, but that do sound like something Boosie would say. I ain't saying, obviously, that he said that, because, well, why not call forth the officer who supposedly heard him say it? And I ain't no lawyer. Moving on. The prosecutor described the incident as a well-thought-out plan to arm himself and hide the truth from law enforcement. In audio recordings played in court, Boosie is heard repeatedly telling officers that the guns belonged to a security guard and that he only had the gun in his waistband for the music video he was shooting. Hmm. Blanco told the judge the guard brought the guns when he flew to San Diego from Georgia and declared both guns to TSA officials. If you didn't know, yes, you can actually do that. You can fly and take your gun with you. Arm yourself with knowledge, people. She also denied Boosie ever threatened the guard and said if such a threat was made, it would have been recorded on one of the officer's body cams. She said Boosie did not present a danger to the community as his prior convictions are non-violent and are related to marijuana possession and distribution. Regarding the risk of flight, she said that though he has a few ties to Southern California, Boosie has extensive ties to his community, family, and fans, some of whom even attended Tuesday's hearing. True story. Now here's the part that out of all of the craziness that I find to be the most crazy and the most accurate, I guess you could say. The attorney, Blanco of course, accused San Diego police of employing a disproportionate response, including over 14 officers and a helicopter for a felon in possession of a firearm case and said prosecutors delay of his detention hearing cost him 160 grand he would have made through performances and other work obligations over the weekend. Now, the reason I disagree with, or not disagree rather, but the reason that that part stood out to me the most was B Boosie is very, very vocal about everything that goes on as we all know. So if you were watching his Instagram enough to see 
I mean, a video where he had a gun tucked into his waist and was that was enough to arrest him, which the law was the law, rules are rules, whatever. How could the helicopter and just, I mean, I don't know, a couple of officers not be enough? We only talking about Boosie. Now, I ain't getting into the street side of Boosie or nothing like that because I ain't about that life. <laughs> but come on, man, that, that, that's a little much for anybody, especially if you're talking about a single person traveling with his security who's famous. I know stuff happens. I know there's going to be those that's going to immediately shoot that logic down. But come on, man, that's kind of a lot. Sometimes that is what causes situations. Again, we ain't going there right now. Anyway, to quote what she said, it is outrageous that the government decided to swoop in on the day that he was going to enter a plea for probation, pull him in federally, detain him, and then announce an inability to move forward with their detention hearing, knowing what he had scheduled for the following weekend. Hmm. Now, if I did anything to lose 160 grand, as if I've done anything to make that much money at one time, I'd be pretty upset. So, I do personally feel like that is a probable point or a, or a good point, I guess you could say, that she brought up. But this is where you guys tell me. Do you think that that's going to actually matter any at all to the judge's decisions? I mean, they already offered him or gave him rather the ability to go ahead and get bail. So how far do you think this is going to go for Boosie versus the state? <laughs> Guess we'll have to wait and see. But while we're waiting, you already know the drill. Drop me your predictions, your thoughts, your conjecture, whatever have you down in the comment section below because you know we enjoy seeing what you got to say and we do read it believe me we we read it some of y'all disappoint me almost sometimes man come on come with the heat we ready for it anyway that's all we got for you this time around so i guess i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here we've been dirt tv celebrity media i've been your host baritone bliss follow your boy be sure to keep it locked here for the latest stories the latest breaking news and the latest updates and we'll be sure to keep providing you with just that. But do do me one small favor between now and the next time you hear my voice. Be safe at all times. And we'll see you next time. Peace.